Many thanks indeed. My guests have joined me in studio. Um, the Honorable Bernard uh, Okobo is a medical doctor. He's also Deputy Minister for Health, and he is the uh, Member of Parliament for the good people of the Lejokuku constituency. They call him Lejokuku Jay-Z. And uh, the Honorable Mohamed Abdulaziz is the Member of Parliament for the good people of the Mion constituency. Gentlemen, welcome. The front page says, find out, <coughs> we'll start with the finder. It says, airlifting of Ghanaians stranded abroad. 1,056 home, 603 coming from today to Sunday, Ayakobo tree. Noguchi gets 10,000 uh, test kits from Ghana COVID-19 private sector fund. Ghana's COVID-19 case count now 12,193. Dexa uh, Methasone, okay, uh, I hope I got it right. It's a uh, first life-saving coronavirus drug. We're getting reports from the United Kingdom. BNFT, tinker with taxes to close fiscal gap. Oxfam, bring back luxury vehicle levy, relook tax exemptions, and use ICT to <coughs> improve tax administration. No better time to formalize informal economy than now, TUC. And SHS heads assure students of enhanced protocols and readiness. 50% benchmark value policy on imports killing local oil palm sector. Daily Guide, NPP pokes NDC. Amidu office is manifesto promise. It comes to the photo of uh, the MP for North Tongue. Uh, Honorable Samuel Ukudetua Blakwa, who has been in the, at the forefront of uh, scoring government 14%, a situation that the government has debunked heavily. NDC MPs exposed in EC 6300 mischief. Nigel Gezi's sex partners came to beg, and SHS heads prepare for reopening. Uh, Daily graphic standoff at the Tema port. Port workers, marine units disagree over container vessels. Graphic Korea to deliver enhanced services. And House of Moja is a new one coming from the stables of the Telegraphic. 33,367 to serve as registration centers. Exercise takes place in five um, phases. And majority and minority leader there with the EC chair on the front page of the Daily Graphic. Finally, the Ghanaian Times. COVID-19 fight. We are well prepared for reopening of SHSs in eastern region. Heads assure they are readiness. NIA boss test positive for COVID-19. And evacuation of stranded Ghanaians abroad. 1,100 land in Accra from different destinations across the world. We are told many more to come. And COVID-19, come for Anochi Teaching Hospital, orders doctors, nurses at ICU to self-quarantine for 14 days. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm blessed. You are blessed. Mo, I, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure we've met this year a couple Absolutely, of times. Absolutely, we have. Uh, uh, except that not as uh, frequent as be, we Because used we to. are neighbors, but not because uh, you <laughs> came here to work. <laughs> Doc, welcome. Yeah. How are you doing? Johnny, Johnny. By How his, are you doing? By his grace. The, you're supposed to be doing consultations with your constituents because you are going on a post. Have you started? In fact, I would do my <clears throat> in the faces on Saturday. Okay. So okay. I have about, about a thousand delegates. Okay. So that's the plan that's, is that's to quite do, a number. Yes. The plan, so even if 80% show up, mm. usually you get about 80%. Okay. Want to start from somewhere about, let's say, 9 or mm. 8. Mm. Do 45 minutes okay. for each batch because okay. it's acclamation. Mm. We just <clears throat> thank them. Um, um, I mean, ask them to work together with us mm. so that we, we are able to retain power. Okay. And then after <laughs> that, we, we also um, more or less mm. thank God for his goodness and then we depart. Okay. The acclamation for each phase. Okay. They will just go like, um, so doctor is uh, the candidate. Okay. We'll do that about seven, eight times and then we'll have finished the day. Okay. I see. Oh, the grounds are also safe. Yeah. Mayon is uh, it's very stable. Um, um, there's no room for complacency, but I can mm. assure you that um, it is a seat that we will deliver to President mm. Mohammed and the NDC. Yeah. Um, we were done with our primary somewhere in August last year. The MPP have also had their primaries. Mm. It is an often constituency for the MPP. Mm. But uh, having gauged the mood and having gauged the person on the other side, I am more than confident that uh, we can increase the margin. Mm. But like I said, there's no complacency in this game. Okay. You'd have to go out with all your seriousness to be able to retain the seat. Okay. Let's uh, start. Talk. Let's start from your ministry. What's, what's going on there? Um, I, I am thinking, for example, that the Minister for Health maybe missed the opportunity to be a champion against stigmatization. Um, maybe he could have followed the example of Boris Johnson and announced his status, announced that he was going to mandatory quarantine, and 
now that we are irradiated that it's been discharged, then we would, would have something to latch onto to say, this is a man, a frontliner, yeah. he's affected, he's gone in, he's come out. Beyond that, we're reading also the NHI boss, the yeah. deputies, <coughs> and people are even pointing fingers at you that you may have the virus yourself yeah. because you've been interacting with the minister. Mo, where are you going? I just want us to be sure that uh, there's some reasonable distance because between what's, the what's two of us. What's happening at the ministry? <laughs> are we safe? Yeah, so let me first of all say a very good morning to my brother, lawyer Jerry Ahmed, mm. the CEO of the Coastal Development Authority. I mean, he's the one who helped with, uh, okay, this is the second time you are saying, but yeah. you, are, you have not uh, dropped anything for the invoice. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, and also, our original chairman. Okay. Um, Honorable Divine Agohun. Yesterday was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I, I say without any um, fear mm. that he was very key mm. in my going unopposed. Okay. He initiated the discussions between myself and my opponent. Okay. And told us that you, you guys we are we are brothers, we should talk. And it ended well. Mm. So I want to thank him for okay. that initiative. Okay. Let, let, let me then take advantage and say a good morning uh, and a happy birthday to um, Nana Ifwadadzi in Takrade. It's your birthday today. Happy third marriage anniversary as well to Mr. and Mrs. Bernard Safo of the All Saints Anglican Church at Abraka. And to Jessica Edem Barson uh, in Aflao. It's your birthday today. Kwame Manuel says happy birthday. A belated uh, birthday to the Honorable Kennedy on Hinea Japan. He was 60 yesterday. It's your birthday uh, today as well. We wish you well. What's happening at the ministry, Doc? Yeah, so your question just brought to mind mm. a question that one of the U.S. generals was asked mm -hmm. during this George Floyd issue, mm. a black general. Right. He said, General, is there racism mm -hmm. in the army, the U.S. army? Mm -hmm. His answer was very fantastic. What did he say? The racism in the U.S. Mm. is not more or less in the U.S. army. Mm. It's not more or less than what is in the community right. what they are facing. Okay. The point I want to make is that mm. risk of getting a virus mm. or the risk in the population is everywhere is across board. Mm -hmm. So if there is corona in Ghana, mm -hmm. what it means that at TV3 you can be positive. Right. You can be positive at Ministry of Health. Mm. And you can be positive also at Salaga Market. Mm. The most important thing is for us to observe the protocols. Okay. And there's one thing I've said before here. Cases of corona mm. are the reported or confirmed cases. <clears throat> the fact that you are okay and going doesn't mean you don't have it. Okay. So until you get tested, mm. you never know. And this is one thing too we should realize. When we say the prevalence or the occurrence of a disease, let's say 3%, mm. it means largely if you test 100 people at three, you can pick three who are. Right. So once they test people at Ministry of Health mm. and they pick a case, it shouldn't be like, oh, it is at Ministry of Health that you have COVID. Is that test happening at the Ministry of Oh, Health? I mean, I got tested. All okay. of us got tested. Okay. And yesterday I was informed that my results came out negative. And you are negative. Yes. Okay. If I'd come out positive, forgive me, maybe I would have been, in quote, more excited. Why? Because the message must go strongly to people that anybody can get the virus. Mm. And what is even more important mm. is that the virus can be defeated. Okay. I'm not preaching recklessness. Mm. But I want people to know that there are two things. We have to be cautious, but we also have to hold on to hope. I didn't get that impression from the minister when he contracted the virus. I yes. didn't. I didn't get the slightest. Okay, thing. maybe forgive and, me. And even the the denials that yes, came yes, from yes. many quarters, yes. especially on social media. I I read uh, from that some journalists reported mm. that he had denied. I mean, more or less a reported speech. Right. Forgive me, but I've not heard. Like I didn't hear an audio of him, mm. but. I will not spend too much time on that. What rather I will say mm -hmm. is that maybe because of my background as a physician, mm -hmm. you know, I was at Lekma on Monday mm -hmm. to consult. Mm -hmm. my, some of my relatives wish I wouldn't go near hospitals. But when you opt to become a physician mm -hmm. or a health worker, it's like a soldier right. who enlists in the army. Mm -hmm. You know that no matter your preparation, death or fatality can happen. Right. And with that attitude, the way I react to disease, mm. if confirmed or suspected, might be different from others. What rather we must focus on is the fact that by the grace of God, he is one of the examples mm. that even, you know, he's more than 60. Mm. Even at 
age that is beyond 60 is not a death sentence. It's been reported that it's more, um, it can be riskier mm. in people who are above 60. Right. But I always look for examples of hope mm. so that people will know that because look, Johnny. But, but I, I don't get that hope, yeah. you see, and yeah. I'm trying to bring your mind onto something that it was the same ministry in collaboration with the information ministry that yeah. paraded persons who had contracted the virus yeah. and had recovered yeah. on their meet the press platforms. If the minister had it, what prevented him from coming public to say, I, Kukwai Jumambenu, MP yeah. for Doma Central, I have the virus yeah. because I'm a frontliner yeah. and I'm going into self-quarantine or mandatory quarantine. And if I recover, that will be the biggest news. Is, is that not a golden story to tell? Yeah. Um, we have over 4,000 recoveries mm. in Ghana. These are 4,000 working testimonies, right? Mm. Unfortunately, forgive me, globally, mm -hmm. my Mion MP, globally, in public health, even with malaria, mm -hmm. which in quote is ordinary, and people don't associate fear to it. Mm. When someone has malaria, it is unethical and even illegal for a doctor to tell another person that this is a malaria patient. Okay. The point is that the disease state of an individual mm. can only be declared by the individual willingly. Okay. And, and that willingness didn't happen in this uh, case. Uh, so I'm just making a point okay. that all of us have different <coughs> threshold when it comes to ability to communicate what has happened to us. Right. So you can, in fact, I got a call from someone who says he wants to be an ambassador. He's a COVID case. All the relatives thought he was going to die. He was at UGMC and wants to tell, tell the world what happened to him. He was severely ill. Mm. He wants to preach. Others don't want to be declared. But, but whose who's do you put weight on? The man at the forefront of this fight or the ordinary Ghanaian who has... I, I, I don't know if yeah, you get I, it. I think the <laughs> lesson here is that mm. all of us are human beings. Okay. Someone can be minister, another can be president, but it doesn't make them more human, um, superhuman. Mm. So those... Um, what's the word? That tendency for an ordinary person on the street to say that I have tested... But please forgive me. I want to keep, or I don't want the results to go to the whole world. Mm. That tendency with a guy on the streets can be with someone at Jubilee House, mm. can be with someone in the church. The point I'm making is that let's encourage more people. Okay. Uh, Dr. Selby, mm. NIE mm. boss, right. just tweeted or told a friend that her results came out positive. Right. Herself, all our officials, mm. one runs and says that I'm positive. It is reported. I didn't hear right. the minister, I'm talking of health. But the impression I get from people is that the minister didn't run to us mm. telling us he was positive. But Selby ran to us. Mm. You just want to encourage more people. But you also must be careful. I tell people that if we want to encourage a lot of people to go and test for mm. COVID mm. or to volunteer, we should not set a trap for people. What, what well, do you mean trap? Oh, okay, maybe mm. I didn't choose my words well. But it will be very uh, unfair Mm. If I encourage all TV3 people to go for the test, okay. and immediately the results come, Johnny, please tell me your result. Oh, no, I, I, I don't think that's it. Oh. I'm, I'm talking about, look, for example, yeah. it was the Minister for Health, and apologies if it appears that, but I'm looking at, you are talking about encouragement. The President on Sunday spoke about the fact that there's nothing embarrassing I know, I contracting know. the virus. I know, I know. And the minister himself has said, this is not a death sentence. You yes. have said it as yes, well. Yes. I have said it. Yes, yes. So now I'm thinking, the man at the forefront yes. of all of this fight, yeah. encouraging us to wear the mask, observe the protocols, blah, 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 and yeah. to declare and to call 112 or 311 if we get yeah. COVID. Yeah failed to make that announcement that he's encouraging all of us to do. Yeah. Don't you think that would make people keep their situations to themselves <laughs> when they start getting the symptoms? Or Jenny, Jenny, uh, I want us to dwell on the positives. <laughs> Let's dwell on we the positives. You have not answered my question. Oh, I'm coming. I want us to dwell on the positives. Okay, the you positive. have not answered my question. Oh, Johnny, the positive means that the president... Ataote, you have not answered my question. Oh, listen. I said, let's dwell on the positive. I don't want it to be like I'm holding brief for how... It was managed. Mm. But my point is that I'm happy that it was not a TV3 reporter who officially confirmed to us that okay. my boss has contracted the virus by the president himself. Okay. okay. <coughs> now, I'm reading also. Sorry about that. We'll come yeah. to more. I'm, I'm reading. I don't know if this has come to your attention. There's a, a drag with a big name that I tried to mention earlier. Dexa. Dexa. Yes, Dexa. Uh, is there any truism to that? Yeah, yeah. So, so what happens is that when you have a new disease like this COVID, mm. 
most hospitals across the world, especially teaching hospitals, mm -hmm. quickly go into what they refer to as trials, randomized, mm -hmm. uh, randomized trials. All kinds of trials are happening mm -hmm. with permission from the state. So as the patients are treated, some are receiving drugs, mm -hmm. others have been excused, mm -hmm. and they are comparing what is happening to those receiving to the mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. The examitazone is a steroid. Okay. It's been known for long. I mean, it was approved about in the 70s. Mm -hmm. What it does is that it, it suppresses reaction of your body to a disease. Okay. So sometimes when a germ enters your body, mm -hmm. it's not a germ that results in your death, but it's how aggressive your body responds to the germ. Okay. Because your body in trying to fight the germ mm -hmm. can start pushing blood around mm -hmm. and releasing a lot of fluids okay. into your body. That can cause harm. Fluid mm -hmm. in your chest will cause difficulty in breathing. Right. A bad reaction by your kidney can let it fail. Mm. So this is a drug that tells the body, calm down. Okay. Don't overreact. Mm. And by mm. calming down, it buys time and recovers. Okay. So what they are saying is that when they mm. apply dexamethasone mm. to a population compared to another group in a similar situation, mm. those unventilators, one third, were saved from death. Mm. So if you to 100, about 33 survived. And another 100 all of them would have gone mm -hmm. in the same situation. Mm -hmm. So this is evidence-based that there is potency in applying it, but they said for critical cases. Okay. For so those, it's not as if when you start getting small cough, small cold, no, 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 no. difficulty in, fact, in breathing, yes. fibers, then you go and buy that. And steroid, yes. <laughs> in fact, steroid... I know my Ghana people pass. Yes, steroid <laughs> abuse can also result in other consequences. Okay. So it's used under guide okay. by a physician. Mm. The other uh, experiment, which was very also... Um, helpful mm. was that for those on oxygen, mm -hmm. one fifth, one fifth were saved from death. Wow! So if hundred people are on oxygen, twenty five, and you them. apply twenty five mm. of them compared to 20, the others, actually, yeah, mm. sorry, twenty. Mm. So what it means is that if you apply the examitasone mm. to people, hundred people on oxygen, your chance of saving will be one fifth. Okay. If you are not applied at all, mm. yeah. So. These are very important, but in science, you want it, um, what's the word? It must be universal. Okay. So such a study quickly <coughs> would be recommended, let's say, in, the, in Ghana but, now. But this drug is available in the market. It's, and it's off patent. You, so what does that mean? Oh. I can walk in and go buy? No, no, no. It's for, uh, in fact, most of the time, Dexa is giving IV. Okay. Okay. I mean, through... Infusion. Yes, through okay. infusion. Or directly into the veins slowly okay. so this is not a drug you can be applying your house okay uh, well there there are dexa tablets mm. dexamethasone tablets given to people with some chronic conditions that are inflammatory okay like some have rheumatoid arthritis mm. Mm. there are conditions that are sustained by your body's um, uh, what's the way uh, reactions mm. so please nobody should dare take this in fact if you go and take dexamethasone without uh, what's the word uh, prescription, prescription mm. you can you can have serious consequences. The first <coughs> consequence you can get mm. is that you become prone to disease, other diseases. Mm. You know, it suppresses your immune. Okay. It's your immune that starts the reaction. Okay. And DEXA is going to suppress your immune. You become so vulnerable you yourself to... to super other infections. Okay. So that's why it must be under care. Okay. Yes. Why 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 are people I come to more shortly, but why are the the reports we're getting us that people who have contracted a virus and are under treatment are paying for their own treatment? Is that correct? No, for now, treatment is supposed to be free. It's supposed fact, to be free. Is yeah, it free? No, it's free. I mean, everyone who is... Including those who are at home, who have been asked to self I mean, Once you are a case, the supportive therapy will give treatment, the antibiotics, the vitamin C, mm. all are given by the state for free. So I, they give it to me at the clinic and I take it home to go and take on my own? No, no. But if, if uh, before you are discharged, mm. you should have... Our criteria now for discharge is at least a first negative. Okay. It's two negatives that make you recover. Right. So a first negative mm. is strong enough to let you go. It's a discharge criteria. Okay. So if the person is going home, the fellow can still be on the the mm. vitamin C and those drugs. In, in fact, until they test them. And you say this is paid for by the no, state. All are paid for by the state. Okay. Mo, yes. let's uh, talk about uh, what Uko uh, says we are all safe. Unless, unless mm. you go with Let's say malaria, and because COVID is free, you say you have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, so Oko says, we are all at a risk. We are not preaching recklessness. We must be careful. And that the good news is that the minister is recovered. And it means that this is not a death sentence. We are all safe. What do you say? 
Um, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Good morning to our viewers, especially my constituents. Um, I wish the health minister speedy recovery. He's one of us in parliament, mm. and so we can only wish him speedy recovery. But I think that the issue that we are talking about here is not just about the disease. Mm. It's also about leadership. It's about a leadership. Mm. And um, coming back to the disease itself, I mean, all the protocols that we've been encouraged to um, practice, mm -hmm. the regular um, washing of hands and uh, uh, running water with soap, mm -hmm. the use of uh, alcohol-based sanitizers mm -hmm. uh, must be encouraged, and um, irrespective of, of, of where you stand. And so, um, but the issue of the minister has to do with leadership, that this is a minister who is leading the fight against the COVID. Mm -hmm. He, he himself has been to parliament on several occasions to talk about stigma mm -hmm. and how it is affecting our fight towards the, the COVID. Mm -hmm. And so he's the last person one expected to have, um, for want of a better word, conducted himself the way and manner he did. That you got COVID mm -hmm. in the line of duty, you were hospitalized at the um, University of Ghana Medical Center, you kept it away from everybody, of course, some media houses got the, the intel mm. and had reported on it. Then we had um, um, a lady, a journalist, uh, mm. a fear poker, right? Mm. Come to tell us through social media that she had spoken to the minister okay. and the minister had no COVID and that he was fine and that he was taking rest at the University of Ghana but Medical Center. We're asking Center. for an audio proof. That's what Oko just said. And you we, see, that's what no, we, 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 we can't do that. We why just can't, can't do why that. can't you do that? You see, since that statement came from the lady, mm -hmm. she has not mm, mm -hmm. retracted that story. The minister himself has not rebutted that story. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so it stands to be true that she had a conversation with the minister, mm -hmm. and the minister told her she was only having rest mm -hmm. at the at the University of Ghana Medical Center mm -hmm. and taking his uh, diabetes uh, medication. It turned out that the minister had COVID mm -hmm. and was at the University of Ghana Medical Center receiving treatment. That was confirmed by the President of the Republic on the 14th of this month. Mm -hmm. And so we must, we must, you see, that's why my colleague was not able to answer that specific uh, question. He yes, perhaps because of your medical background. Because of his medical background, right. he may, God forbid, if my, my friend um, um, gets um, a COVID, he has assured us mm. that if he was in the shoes of the minister, he would have declared that to the public. What it simply means is that he has agreed that his boss did not do what was right and what was fair to us. Is that your inference? Oh, the man says that if, if he had COVID, mm. He would have, he would have, he would have, he would have made us know. But that's his, his boss, individual his boss didn't and do his that. background. Exactly. And so his boss didn't do that. Once you tell us that you have done what is right and proper, and your boss has failed to do that, mm -hmm. it means he has done the opposite, which is wrong. Now, 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 like I said, the man himself on several occasions has appeared uh, before parliament either to answer parliamentary questions mm -hmm. or to do statements. And part of those answers that he has always given and the statements, um, he has largely dwelled on the issue of, 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 of stigma. Mm -hmm. If indeed, if indeed he had mm -hmm. come out to deny mm -hmm. what the lady said about, about him on social media, that could have um, 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 assuaged the fears of the Ghanaian public. Mm -hmm. But, Johnny, let's go even beyond that. We are talking of, of, of contact tracing. Mm -hmm. We are told that when somebody has COVID, right. apart from dealing with that person, it is only proper and fair mm -hmm. and for their own standards and protocols mm -hmm. to do what they call enhanced contact tracing. Right. All the people who have come into contact with the, with the, with the person need to be traced that's, that's to, be, so. to, be, to be isolated and tested mm. and, 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 and if they are confirmed with, with COVID, who are then you they, pointing they at? are treated. Mm. Now we are told, mm, mm -hmm. we are told somewhere in Kumasi, in fact there's a letter to that effect mm. that contact tracers mm. mm, have virtually ceased to work with the reason that they are, they are their, their daily allowance of 150 mm -hmm. that was approved by parliament has been slashed to 70 Ghana cities. We are not in normal times. Oh, that is why we have contact traces. Mm -hmm. When we're in normal times, we didn't have them. And so when you come to parliament with all these resources that has been made available to the government, mm -hmm. 
either through the IMF, the World Bank, what they are taking from the Bank of Ghana, um, the COVID fund, a lot of resources has come on the way of this of this. Should economy. we use all to pay contact traces? No, and that's why there was a budget that came to Parliament telling us that we'll use this amount of money to procure PPEs, we'll use okay. this one to pay contact traces, okay. because we want to be able to get to know all those people who have the the COVID or whom we have come into contact. And you say they didn't people. come back, Kevin didn't come back to they didn't. we are they slashing didn't. it down from they didn't. They didn't. And I think that this is a matter that um, myself and my colleagues should be worried about. We should be able to raise that matter on the floor mm -hmm. because you don't come to parliament to say that we are paying 150 Ghana cities mm -hmm. to each person who we are using as a contact tracer. And then you go onto the foot and you slash it down to 70 Ghana cities. When indeed we are not even paying that 70 Ghana cities. You, you have and so, for an account to be made. Has it? Uh, what's the latest on that one? Well, um, um, I was it the information minister who said that if the auditor general heeds to our call, mm. it means that uh, he is only doing our bidding. And and so we must be we must be very 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 careful here. At the at the risk of at the risk of being of, of engaging in politics. Hmm? At the risk of engaging in politics, mm. the health minister was hospitalized at the University of Ghana Medical Center. You remember somewhere 2018. Mm. This same minister had explained to us why we could not operationalize the University of uh, uh, Ghana uh, Medical because Center. Because there was no transformer. That's what he said. He said we didn't have standby generators That's and right. that it was risky to put it into operation without those standby uh, generators. Mm. Courtesy to you, uh, media men and women, your colleague station uh, went to do a fast check on that, mm -hmm. and it turned out not to be true. In fact, it took demonstrations. In fact, even the gentleman who did the one-man demonstration for government to uh, 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 open the University of Ghana Medical Center was arrested. Mm -hmm. Today, it has become the, the, the main uh, facility the, the point. for treating what the health minister says VIPs. Remember when he said that the University of Ghana Medical Center was here to deal with a VIP COVID uh, a patient. Yeah, that was correct. The information the minister came out to say yes, it was misspeaking. Right. Misspeaking today. You and I know that the health minister, of course, is a VIP in this country. And that's where he, ha he has been sent to. You should be interested in knowing how many VIPs are receiving treatment at the University of Ghana Tell Medical me, Center. How many do you know? I, I don't know, but I'm just saying that you are a media person. You should mm. be interested that once the health minister has been there for medical attention, mm. How many VIPs? Is it not their right to privacy? It is their... No. It's not their right? No. No. It's a health facility for the state mm -hmm. and not for the individual. So it's their right. And so what I'm simply saying their is that... their medical situation... What I'm simply saying is that... kept for them. What I'm simply saying is that mm -hmm. this was a medical facility that we badmouthed. Okay. We didn't want to put it into operation mm -hmm. simply because it was constructed by the previous regime of President Mahama. Mm -hmm. Today, the very person who was in the in the in the in the lead, mm -hmm. bad mapping that that facility has re has treat, uh, received treatment okay. from that same Thank you. Uh, that same your, facility. Your point is well made. Ogo, uh, uh, is our health system being overwhelmed? I'm reading here that Kofanoche is, yeah. for example, asking doctors and nurses at the ICU to self quarantine for 14 days, mm -hmm. and we're told that quite a good number of health professionals at the front line have gotten it. My fear is that, and as has been said by Professor Fred Binka, Dr. Norman, and many others, that if we don't take care and our health professionals are overwhelmed, because COVID is not the only thing we're treating. There's typhoid, there's malaria, there's fever, there's plenty of other things, BP and diabetes. If we don't take care and they are overwhelmed, we may have trouble on our hands. Are we overwhelmed? Yeah, so <laughs> let me say that we are, as a country, we are not overwhelmed. Okay. See, when we say you, you've been overwhelmed, it, it, it means that you find yourself in a situation where very sick people mm. wouldn't get access to care. Very sick people might mm. have to be left to their feet because your system just can't take them. Mm. But to be honest with you, we are no more near. Let me give you a few statistics. Mm. So if you take a hospital like um, the University of Ghana Medical Center, mm -hmm. They have five ICU beds, mm. Johnny. So when they tell you University of Ghana Medical Center is full mm -hmm. in terms of care, it means five people are occupying their beds. Okay. For just five? Yes. But the one outside will think that the whole hospital, it's not the whole hospital okay. that you see there. 
That is taking care so of COVID. You a few, place for Exactly. It. Okay. Yes. So there are five beds at a particular place mm. for critically ill COVID cases. The, that big facility, University yes. of Ghana Medical Center. Yes. So it's to let you know the reason mm. is simple. You can the, it's not like an east. Okay. Where all are COVID under treatment. For 120. Exactly. Okay. And even with guys, it's not every patient that is under critical care. Okay. So they will have beds for someone who is not on oxygen, mm. but needs some IV fluid injections right. now that Dexa has mm. come mm. and all that. You have some on oxygen. They don't need to be at ICU. Mm. Oxygen, maybe monitor their oxygen level. But there are some that must be on the ventilator. Okay. And must be monitored closely, or even unconscious. Now, <clears> 37 <throat> military hospital has four. Hmm. So when a COVID, we tell you that 37 is full. Hmm. Remember, it doesn't mean there's no bed in 37. But the four beds for ICU for COVID. And it, there's a reason why they've done that. Why do we have low numbers? Tell me. There's a reason. And this is what must educate us. Hmm. People still go to 37 with road traffic accident. They also need ICU care. Hmm. There are patients who have gone into critical emergency surgery. They need ICU care monitoring after surgery. Hmm. If we close all these units and give to only COVID cases, death count from trauma will start going up. Death count from post surgeries mm. will start going up. So they can It's difficult for a hospital mm. to say that all our beds will go for COVID. And so I'm just saying this so that when you hear that the place is full, you don't make a mistake of thinking that all beds there are COVID and they are full. Okay. It's because of the demarcation. The demarcation. But, but with the rising numbers, yeah, so these are not exposing so, us. No, no. So these are some of the things we are... Okay. Uh, the recommendations. Looking at, which okay. we are looking at. So tell me quickly. At. So rich hospital has a 12-bed unit okay. that we want to turn into an ICU okay. for COVID. I know that there's, there are six beds presently, right? Good, good. Okay. Even the, in fact, they have eight beds, but it's an HDU, okay. high-dependency unit, okay. for people who are critically ill, hmm. but not uh, severely ill, okay. but not like in ICU care. Okay. So we want to now have convert, turn their eight into 12, hmm. and in addition, have 12 beds for ICU care. Okay. We must put in some infrastructure quickly. And now, other recommendations are that, like Kumasi, for example. Mm. You know, some of the Ghana Medical Association, I their president said, those who are sick now have to come to Kofanochi. That's right. What they want to do is to convert, some are suggesting, that we should use some parts of the Bekwai Hospital, mm. which is almost near completion, for like a Gaist sort of in Kumasi, so that people would not go and join, okay. sick people wouldn't go and join the normal population. So the point I'm making is that, it's because we are using some limited number of beds mm. for ICU care. Occupancy, once it's 100%, mm. we go like the place is full. But, but, but it doesn't has, really has this not exposed us, Okoboy? I mean, look at the numbers that we have. Rage, Accra Regional Hospital, with all this capacity, has, what, six? Or you say eight? Yes, now yes. we are looking at adding 12. Uh, Tema yeah. General Hospital has, yeah. what? Um, yeah. It, Lenny, you know what? The numbers are quite heartbreaking. You know, so this, then, then I keep asking myself, yeah. if I get into a critical yeah. situation now yeah. and the University of Ghana Medical Center has five beds yeah. filled yeah. up, yeah. everywhere is full, where do yeah. you put me? Then it's very simple. <laughs> very, very simple. And let me explain. I see you. If you look at the percentages in bed occupancy, mm. when you dedicate, let's say, five beds mm. in, let's say, 37, and like I said, I see you care. The number of beds in 37 mm. is not the four I've mentioned. Okay. This is for COVID. Okay. So when you ask for all ICU beds in 37, you might get three, four, five times the size. But I'm asking for COVID because you can't go and put me uh, with somebody who has another but, serious but, matter if yeah, I have COVID. I'll be infecting the yeah, person. But you know, I think it's also the protocols that come with COVID. Okay. That's why now it's like with four COVID cases, a particular space can be full. The social distance still must happen. Okay. There are a lot of things. So forgive me, but handling COVID mm. is like comparing... Um, it was a Veronica bucket. You okay. see how mm. the whole structure mm. is. Right. Comparing handling of that mm. to handling the sanitizer. Okay. So in the same place, you can deal with a lot of sanitizer bottles mm. in terms of spacing or keeping them. Right. Two, three Veronica buckets come and the place is full. It's full. Okay. So a COVID case comes with this old bulkiness okay. because of the protocols. Okay. Before you go near the distance. So they easily swallow your space. Mm. And look, it's not only in Ghana across the world because of the protocols that come with them mm. and guess what you also have to dedicate special staff you don't mix okay so those at the university of ghana medical center they've developed a team mobilized from uh, other hospitals mm. and ugms mm. only for COVID cases okay. so the COVID icu nurse COVID doctor mm. is not going to treat other cases okay 
It's only in rare situations where you have to dedicate special staff mm. to a particular condition. And, and we don't have the numbers. No, no, that's what I'm saying that across the world, no system had the luxury of saying that I can take maybe 10% of my staff and give to only one condition okay. such that they don't treat anybody. Look at this isolation you talked about. Okay. It's rare that you have a condition that if physicians come near you mm. and one is positive, even if the others have not been confirmed they are fine, they should all go home. Now, have you thought about it? It, it means that across the world, mm. it comes with challenges. Okay. What we have to do is to quickly put ourselves in a position. We have to be dynamic like the virus. Okay. To and, try and, and do what? And that as in find find meet up with the solutions. So okay. we are saying that the quiet third seven uh, the military hospital in Kumasi, the two are being considered. What whether we can have it like a mm. sort of facility. Mm. And um forgive me, the people let me state here, the people who are sick, mm. some come severely ill, a cancer patient okay. on radiotherapy, mm. but coughing. You do the test and they are uh, um, 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 COVID. Po uh, COVID. Mm. What it tells us is that in the population, you have uh, some level of community spread. Those who find themselves, mm. and I'm not saying only they should be careful, but you, you have to be extraordinarily cautious okay. if you are someone with Okay, let, let Mo also have a bite on this one quickly. And, um, and Mo. And, and, oh, please, okay. the contact traces. Yes. Yes. The 17. During, yes, during the lockdown, during the lockdown, mm. they recruited a, 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 a call, like a special oh. group, okay. of about... 1,005 to 2,000 contact traces. Mm. It was for, um, how do you call it, um, a particular project within a particular period. Okay. Now, what I talked to Dr. Boachi, Ghana mm. what he told me was that after the lockdown, they told the districts, especially Adenta mm. and Kumasi, to fall on GHS staff okay. who, are, who we don't have to pay 150 Ghana each day. Okay. But the volunteers were not, they were not medical, were not medical employees. Staff of Ghana Health and so, okay. after that period, they encouraged them to let so them go. So, you're saying so that, that the contract traces we have now are not from outside, they yeah, are Ghana Health staff, Service staff. Yes, okay. our own staff. But that doesn't mean we should shortchange them. If we are with two parliament... No, no, no. Once, Ghana, once we they work, them, yes, once there was an agreement, we had to pay. But I think some districts wanted to hold on. Okay. Instead of falling on their staff, and they've been encouraged okay. to. Mo, sorry, I've shortchanged you, but you you take uh, two minutes of this one, and then we'll, we'll wrap up. That's okay, mm. but that's the last point that he talked about. Mm. If you came to Parliament and Parliament approved an amount of one hundred, he, he has admitted to that. Con mm. uh, contact tracer, that should be it. Okay. Now, the other issue that we must get worried about has to do with the numbers that we are reporting. Mm. You know, we have always had that, you know, um, unsubstantiated suspicion of the numbers mm. but it appears our fears have been confirmed in right. fact it was um dr bedu akosa the Be former director for ghana health service professor yes bedu sorry akosa. professor mm. bedu akosa who first raised the issue mm. uh, in public about how he felt the numbers were were being were, were, were being were being massaged today occupy ghana mm. has come to confirm that and I heard the yeah, ministry of health. With what? They also oh, have suspicion. Oh, they have mm. allegation. They are telling you that the deaths no that have reported, okay. for instance, in Ashanti region, yeah. mm. they have reported 20 deaths. They are saying that data from Ashanti region is soft. But do they have evidence oh, that they data are from, data, data, data from the allegations. Data okay. from Ashanti region itself. Mm. Yeah. Mm? From their from their cross check is mm. 38 and not 20 as we have reported. Well, that's an allegation. And so, okay. oh, you trust the Ghana Yesterday, yesterday, okay. allow, yesterday, allow. yesterday, allow. yesterday allow. I listened to Jenny. Yesterday, okay. allow, allow. Oh, okay. I just want to say, I'm as, saying that as a public okay. official, okay. Ghana, as a parliamentarian, oh, okay. oh, okay. you trust the Ghana Ghana to speak. Oh, oh. For example, it is Ghana service. Okay, look, see, the president spoke on Sunday evening. Yes, yes. At uh, 8, 8 p.m. Yes. Yeah. And he mentioned in the speech yeah. that as of midnight yes. Saturday, 13th. he had the figures that we were now seeing on the website exactly. on Sunday. Yes, I agree. Even by Sunday afternoon, the yeah. figures that the president were quoting yeah. and referencing Saturday had, changed, had, changed. Had, had, had actually not up to that level. Absolutely. So now it gives people yeah. the, 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 the doubt. To oh. start asking questions that ah, if the president had the figure from Saturday midnight, yeah, yeah. we're told. Why am I now getting it? Johnny, What's Johnny, the website please. there for? As you speak this morning, there you can receive reports confirmed ones mm. from the unit oh. that these are oh. COVID deaths. You had your you no, had no, your ten. No, no, but you had your ten. Being a public officer, I don't expect you to trust. 
I beg you. Occupy Ghana. Okay. More okay. than the Ghana health service. Thank you. Your point is well made. It is oh. interesting that. Your point is well made. interesting that. Sorry, sorry okay. I'm, I'm, I've short changed you, but uh, wrap up for me. Just one minute. Mm -hmm. Oko is today disputing uh, accessions from Occupy Ghana. But I'm saying <laughs> that our fears are being confirmed. Mm. Is and that my second issue has to do with, with the statement allowing. of the president. Mm. When indeed the number he was giving us on the 14th, mm. Mm, the number we saw on the 14th was what he gave to us as at the end of the day uh, 30th of this month. Mm. So people are beginning to have their own why, why, uh, okay. suspicion okay. about the numbers that, that, that you, you, you rule out. But I'm see, here. You don't need to have fear. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, you see I'll take care of yesterday, you. I listened to the Deputy Minister for Information, mm. Pius, and he says that when the data comes from the testing centers, mm. they will have to validate and audit. Mm. What are you auditing? But that's when, the no, no. You see, you see when well, your protocols are used to mistake okay. the figures, no, 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 no. thank you. When your you protocols well, well, are that's, used to mistake the figures, well, that's, 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 that's the process. That's the process. I have a point. I have a point of interest. I have a message from Ambassador Pierre Bella, for Bella, you. Bella, Bella wants but, to come. But I have, I have <laughs> an interest. Bella wants to come. It's not about Bella. Oko, I have an interest. Don't mistake the figures. Oko, I have an interest. The public, public risk. Um, especially, trotters have been asked to do social distancing. <laughs> Taxis are asked to do social distancing. But intercity travels yeah. are not doing social distancing. And, uh, they so are all packed. You should be worried. You said trotters have been asked to do social yes. distancing. Yes. They are actually doing but it. Look at, so. look at the screen on your. Look at it. This is a metro mass. This is a government owned metro mass. See? See how people are packed inside. Hold on for me. I want you to. Okay, when are we seeing an end to this phenomenon? Yeah, we would, would encourage them and no, not encourage them, we, enforce. We will we'll, we'll make sure that they do social distance. When? So, but how come you went on only the metro mask? Oh, I went to metro mask, I went to VVIP. Yeah, yes, but I don't wear the mask. Oh, most of them are masks. Social distance. Oh, okay, uh, Johnny, let me say that. Make me a promise. Yeah. I want you to make me a promise on this part. Oh, we'll do our best. To make sure that we enforce it. But but man, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Hold on. You have your day. I want an answer. You know, want, you today know, is okay. Wednesday. You know, there are certain places that having a one meter rule becomes difficult. Mm. At such places, you want to make sure that other measures that reduce risk are very enforceable. But this is like, not reducing risk. That's oh, if you wear the mask, it reduces your risk. How? Oh, come on. If you are sitting, once there's closeness, is the mask that we are sitting you. down like that yes. in the bus. No, no, I'm saying that this is how the sitting arrangement yeah, is in the listen, bus. Listen, that is not the ideal. But See, if, if the, listen, when we had the people yeah. have even removed their masks, so this is how they were sitting. Jenny, that's what I'm saying. That, the more, that See, to... the more measures you are there to, mm. the greater your risk reduction. And I'm saying that in this picture we showed you, if yes. we didn't have evidence, they are sitting like this. Some are not even wearing masks. A state type system would, 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 state would, 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 would state speak system. to metro masks. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Just want to okay, thank you. No, I, I, won't, I, I won't take any <laughs> more evidence. But this uh, from Ambassador Sampiale for you. He says, Doc, he says, tell my young twin brother, Oko boy, that Ghanaians are lucky to have a young, intelligent deputy minister of health like him. We want to listen to him professionally. He impairs his professional messages as a political communicator. At this time, more than ever before, we need his professional leadership, not his political slants, to fight pandemic. <laughs> uh, okay, boy. So be a doctor. Be a doctor. Thank you very much. And uh, on that note, well, I say thank you to Honorable Bernard Okobo. He's the member of parliament for the good people of uh, Legion Kuku. He's also a deputy health minister uh, in whom we are very much well pleased. And uh, Honorable Mohamed Abdelaziz is the member of parliament for the good people of uh, the Mion constituency up there in the north. Good morning.